pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So what is Veterans Day to you? For me, it's a day to honor all of our veterans, but more so our past veterans, because of what, at my age, if it wasn't for the World War I and World War II veterans, I would not be able to be sitting here being interviewed. So it's, it's a thankful way, it's a way to say thanks, which we should say every day, to all of our vets. Well, to me, Veterans Day is honoring people that serve right now and people that used to serve and just acknowledging the sacrifices that they've made, whether it be, you know, they don't get to see their family, you know, a lot of times we miss holidays, we missed a lot of different things, so it's nice that, you know, especially even high schoolers and people younger just kind of take the time to acknowledge and say thank you, it really means a lot. Veterans Day to me is a time of remembering, like, all of us that have served from a very military family, um, all the way back to both my parents' time, my grandfather's time, my great-grandfather's time. Um, we have a very military family. I have two boys that also want to serve, and I'm very proud of that. So I just think it's a time of just remembering everything that we sacrificed, everything we've done. Uh, truly enjoyed speaking for Veterans Day here at St. Francis. Number one, the students were, were uh, very uh, well behaved, enjoyed that piece of it, and actually kind of, I think, got into it a little bit. They were, when I would say hua, they replied back hua. And so I had a great time, and hopefully I delivered a message to them as well. Uh, how does it make you feel that our school celebrates Veterans Day? Oh, it's such an honor. I have two grandsons that go to school here, and an older grandson that graduated from here. But to see this being put on by the younger generation is truly, truly a blessing and an honor for me to be able to be here and participate, I guess, <laughs> if you want to say. You know, it feels good. I think there's a lot of, uh, you don't hear a lot of good things around high schoolers now. Like, there's a lot of you know, whether it's like the devious licks or whatever you see on TikTok or whatever. So and I know the last time I was in high school was about seven years ago. So, like, it's nice to see that they're still acknowledging that and doing that. People still take pride in, in, the, in the armed forces in their country. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the school that does that. I think it's out freaking standing. And then how would you recommend people honor Veterans Day? Oh, honor Veterans Day. Every day is Veterans Day, so it should be honored every day, not just one day. Uh, I think just if you know someone's a veteran, just shoot them a text, call to say, hey, thank you. It, you know, it, it may not seem like a lot, but it means a lot, getting it from my friends or family or whoever. Just by showing support, being grateful, being not everyone joins the military, and I get that. But those that do, we make a sacrifice. And those that stay at home make a sacrifice. Our wives, our children. My boys grew up with their dad seeing them on Skype videos and seeing us little Facebook messages back and forth because I was deployed a lot. And it's, it's powerful to us as families. And so everybody, you know what? Thank a vet. Because if it weren't for our veterans, we wouldn't be America. I think it's the right thing to do. We have a very small number of people that are served our nation, and I think it's the right thing to do to honor them and say thank you to them. Thank you, Mr. Shaw. Those who have served and those currently serving in the uniformed services of the United States are ever mindful that the sweetness of enduring peace has always been tainted by the bitterness of personal sacrifice. We are compelled to never forget that while we enjoy our daily pleasures, there are others who have endured and may still be enduring the agonies of pain, deprivation, and imprisonment. Before we begin our activities, 
we pause to recognize our prisoners of wars and our missing actions. We call your attention to this small table, which occupies a place of dignity and honor. It is set for one, symbolizing the fact that the members of our armed forces and missing from our ranks. They are referred to as POWs and MIAs. We call them comrades. They are unable to be with their loved ones and families. So we join together and pay a humble tribute to them and bear to witness to their continued absence. The table is small, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner alone against his or her suppressors. The tablecloth is white, symbolizing, symbolic of the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. The single rose in the vase signifies the blood that may have shed in their sacrifice to ensure the freedom of our beloved United States of America. This rose also reminds us of the family and friends of our missing comrades who keep the faith while awaiting their return. The red ribbon on the vase represents an unyielding determination for a proper accounting of our comrades who are not among us. A slice of lemon on the plate reminds us of their inner fate. The salt sprinkled on the plate reminds us of the countless volunteers and families as they wait. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us at this time. The chair is empty. They are not here. The candle is reminiscent of the light of hope, which lives in our hearts to illuminate their way home, away from their captors, into the open arms of a grateful nation. The American flag reminds us that many of them may never return and have made the supreme sacrifice to ensure our freedom. Let us pray to the Supreme Commander that all our comrades will, be, will soon be back within our ranks. Let us remember and never forget their sacrifice. May God forever watch over them and protect them and their families. Do your best. Every day is another day and another opportunity for you to shine. Do your best always. It's important, whether it be in the military, in life, in school, wherever. Always put your best foot forward.